Stay tuned to find out how to make this easy hair mask for longer and healthier hair. Hi everyone, today we are going to make a banana deep conditioning treatment mask. I'm starting off with a blender cup like this. I will be adding one banana. I keep them frozen to keep them fresh and also to make smoothies. Next we will be adding a fourth cup of avocados. I just keep my frozen so they can stay fresh longer. Just like that. Next we will be adding two tablespoons of castor oil. Now, don't worry the measurements do not have to be exact so don't worry about any measuring cups or spoons. Here is my homemade flaxseed gel that I also add to this concoction. Flaxseed is high in omega-3 oils and is very good for your hair. Now we are going to add about three tablespoons of the flaxseed gel. Now add two tablespoons of your favorite hair conditioner. We are almost finished. We just have one more ingredient to add. Our last ingredient is raw honey and we will be adding one and a half tablespoons. Now it is ready to be mixed. I have already mixed it and this is how smooth it has come out. Now this nourishing hair mask is ready for use. Okay, my hair is washed, conditioned and dry, just regular condition, you know, not no leave-in conditioner. That's what I'm about to put in now. I just made a deep conditioning treatment so I could rub it here on my end. It looks a little on my edges. Looks just like a little thin right here on that side. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that side. So, I go get this deep conditioning treatment. And see how it does. Okay, I have actually warmed up my deep conditioning concoction with double broiler. That's why it's in a little bowl. That way it can be like a Almost like a hot oil treatment. Get it warm and open up my hair shafts and go in and do a little better. Start with the back. So work it in some sections here. I have not actually really like comb this out yet. Like I did while it was still wet, but I just let it air dry. It smells good, it smells nice and sweet. You can definitely smell the banana. It doesn't feel greasy at all. I'm working into my scalp too. Okay. Yeah, my hair. And you know what? I'll have to put them in twists a little bit later. For now, I'm just keep working up. I'll leave it alone. Just getting little bits at a time that way I don't miss any. Have any like uneven sections. Oh, it feels so good. I'm so glad I warmed this up, especially since the bananas were frozen and so was the avocado. how you seal your hair. You don't want it to seal, I want it to penetrate through my hair. They're like, oh yes, we love it. Oh yes, we love it. Please, please mommy, feed me. I'll take this section, put a little bit more in, and I will twist it up. Put 
this side out of the way. Just a quick twist. Again, I'm starting close to the scalp area. I'm also rubbing into my scalp. my first time using banana. I am curious to see the benefits. Add this to my hair routine, you know. Have anybody else tried a banana mask yet? Banana, you know, deep treatment. I hope my hair is just eating this up. So one side done. How's that looking? I wish I could see the back of my head, but that's how I did that side. There's the other. I please hope you could see that. Okay. And let me start working on this side now. Yeah, I had Trexel for almost three full months. And it was the first time like taking them out and taking my braids out. And then going through my hair and washing it. So I was expecting a lot of breakage because usually I have a comb your head, get a wig free. I, mean, I used to have horrible breakage. So that is one thing I've noticed since I started taking care of my hair. You know, like before I just wash condition, just, you know, whatever I found on the shelf then you know, like, oh, I did the job, I washed my hair, it's oils, conditioner, and condition my hair, and oh, let me braid this stuff right back, and put these tracks back on, or braid this wig down, you know, put this wig on. Not really, you know, thinking about, it's just like, oh, well, I'm not really doing anything to my hair, so therefore my hair should grip, because I'm not, you know, doing anything with it. But man, every time I would take the tracks out, I would have, you know, like, like, <laughs> like a lot of just hair. And it was like, I swear a pile of hair like this big that just, just come off my head, just sitting in the shower. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Now with me taking care of my hair, you know, taking care of it better than I was before, I don't have as much breakage. So yes, I have a pile of hair over here and I will let you see this pile of hair. However, it is not nearly as bad as it used to be. And I'm like so proud of myself. I'm so happy because it was bad. Bad, very bad. Well, anyone natural and then going back to relaxer. I'm just curious. I just I seen a couple people on Facebook that went natural for um, you know a year, and they're like, "F this, I'm sick of being a natural." I booked my appointment to get a relaxer tomorrow. I mean, it's I don't hate on anybody. It's it's your hair. You know what's better for you. You know what's easier for you. We're not living your life. I'm not gonna go and judge anybody. You know, they want to relax her, they want to relax her. They want to wear their hair natural, they want to wear their hair natural. I mean, it took me a while before going natural because I was worried, you know. Honestly, mostly worried if anyone would hire me. I know that sounds like bad not everybody like understands however like where i'm living now i still don't think i could wear my hair naturally and get a job and it's 2020 and that's one of the main reasons why i keep putting on tracks or i put on a wig i never wear like 
braids like at an interview. If I wear braids, it's wear like two braids, but because I'm trying to like fit in, you know. Sorry if I'm ranting on and you didn't come here to hear me ranting on, but I just figure so you know a little a little about me in case you're curious. And I mean, does anyone else feel the same way? I mean, is it just me? All right, I think that is as much as my hair is gonna hold. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think that's as much as my hair can hold? I'm just rubbing it on my scalp. Rubbing it on my edges. Oh yeah, let me show you this hair loss. Sorry, you know this. The shedding from my hair. This is how much. How much? I used to have like this much, but this is how much I have. So thankful it's only this much. Like, wow. Do not, I mean, woo! Anyone ever take out their weave and then they get like a whole big massive ball hair and it's like, wow. Was it worth it, you know, putting all that in and then losing all that hair? Uh-huh. Oh, get back. Trying to run away from me? Uh-uh. Oh, get back in there. Get back in there. Oh, it's dripping. Something just dripped on face. But this. There. All right. Cool beans. I will leave this in and I will come back later so you can see how it looks after I rinse this out and I'll let you know exactly how long it stayed in my hair. Okay. All right. Bye. Be right back. Reels. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Time to rinse this out. Okay, I'm gonna take this out as quickly as possible. I'm noticing that my hair is very soft. And it looks really healthy. And I am just loving these curls. I know they probably won't stay forever, but I do like these curls. And this is how my hair is looking from the back. I'm trying to pull out some so you can see how long it is. I'm very sorry, I cannot put the hand, my hand in the middle of my back. <laughs> this is as far as I can go. And I wanna show you how this will look after a week instead of, you know, how it just looks right now like directly afterwards so stay tuned okay it has been a week since i did the uh, banana mask in my hair and i just go wash my hair just want to get you to see how it looks oh see something dangling yeah anyways this is what you see how my hair looks after that banana mask you know a week from then Look at that, it lights. Look at those curls.
But anyways, just wanted you to see how it looked after one week. This is one week afterwards. Just um, go wash my hair. Not shampoo, because shampooed my hair last week. I think I will do that banana mask like once a month, you know. Well, I hope you all like this video and I hope you try out the banana mask. And if you do, please let me know. I would like to know how your results are. Thank you all so much for uh, tuning in and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please let me know or message me. I hope you all have a good evening. And in case anyone is wondering, this is the shedding that I got this week from uh, co-washing and, de and detangling my hair. Ugh, I can't even speak. From co-washing and detangling my hair, this is how much breakage I experienced just that much. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just that. 